Welcome back everyone to Photography by Harrison and what we are going to be doing today we're going to be doing two things we're going to be checking the consistent focus of the FC 1002 whether or not it's on my face and whether or not it's staying focused because sometimes it's rock solid on focus and sometimes it's think, it might think your face is the, either the brick or the trees in the background that's one thing we're going to be checking out the second thing we're going to be checking on is whether or not I could actually still put together a photographic story from beginning to end using no words, just the pictures, even though it might be a simple story. And if you just looked at that story, could you tell, understand what was going on? And, that, and, and, uh, you, and also, you're probably wondering why am I sitting on this tree? Well, this tree was an inspiration for the, for the photographic story because me and my, my neighbor and I, we end, we end up cutting this tree down because it fell on the roof back here and put a big hole in the, in the roof in the house back here. But that, the story is not us cutting up the tree and hauling it to the street. The story is about what happens once you get it to the street. And that's why the city and the town, the city workers come into play. So with that being said, I hope at the end of this, I want your opinion. Did, did the camera stay in focus? And did I do a semi-decent job of putting a photograph and video story together? And with that being said, you know, I'll see you on that side. Well, what do you think? Did the camera maintain focus all the time, or did it lose it at some time? Leave a comment below. And also, how good a job did I do for us d taking a video story? Also leave that comment below. Of course, while you're down there, you know, hit the notification button and subscribe button. Because, you know, subscribe button helps me grow. But even if I'm not growing, I'm going to continue to make videos. Why? Because I just enjoy photography. Now, you're probably wondering, what does this swing have to do with the story I just showed you? Absolutely nothing. 
but this swing is on the porch that I grew up, grew up in, and this is a swing when I was a lot younger, I used to play in. And also, just for future information, in case you're wondering, of course you might not even be wondering, how many people can this swing hold? It can hold 12. How we know? Because it was 12 of us when we were youngsters, we got in it just to see. Actually, it was 13 of us, but it came down on the 13th, and that's when our parents came out. And I'm not going to say I got in trouble, because you know me, I was a sweet little angel, but I leave that for you to decide. And if you have any ways I can get better, you know, let me know, because you know I'm always open to ideas and suggestions, if I can do them. Because you know, when it comes to photography, you know, nobody knows it all. And of course, the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on my photographic journeys, and I will see you next time. I'm just thinking I'm going to swing a little bit, see if I still got that rhythm.